James Kaufman, World News Report today, March 13th, 2025. God bless you and yours. No matter where you are in the world, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been in a geomagnetic disturbance and storm for the last 24 hours. The problem is there's no intense solar winds or plasma. We'll take a look at the estimated planetary index here, the KP index. It's really a summary of the solar winds and plasma hitting Earth. And we can see that for the last few days, well, yesterday we had 12 hours of a geomagnetic disturbance, followed by 9 hours of a geomagnetic storm. Thus far today, it looks like we've had at least... 15 more hours of a geomagnetic storm. This makes absolutely no sense. And I'm going to show you all what I mean by that. This is a freak show. All right, just taking a larger look at the estimated planetary KP index, the newly upgraded index that NOAA and NASA exclusively use. You can see that we've been in a disturbance and then a geomagnetic storm now for the last two days. This is very strange considering there's no uptick in solar winds and they haven't gone over 600 kilometers per second and there's no plasma hitting Earth and there was no cause in the first place that I can determine. Jumping over to our real-time solar wind discover satellite we can see for the last 24 hours that plasma might have gone over 10 centimeters cubed for one minute. Maybe, maybe four minutes here. But nothing, nothing that would even cause a geomagnetic disturbance, more or less a geomagnetic storm, which we have been in, as we just saw and discussed. We see that the average plasma is just about at nothing. Very, very low here. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.16, 0 0.15. Of course, I looked for something hitting the planet from behind, but I did not see anything specifically. So I wanted to look at solar winds. We did have that coronal hole that was Earth facing, but we have no solar wind performance whatsoever either. Nothing really, except for a few minutes here, nothing breaks even 575 kilometers per second. And that's not going to get you even a geomagnetic disturbance, more or less a geomagnetic storm. And currently, we're down to 475, and we're still in a geomagnetic storm. Temperatures have remained basically normal all day long. Now, I'm going to show you a three-day view, too, because we've been in this for two days. All right, the same is true. Look at the plasma here at its height. It's at 2.64 centimeters cubed here. And you can see that there is no plasma hitting. Even stranger, our shields seem to be up and functioning here, okay? And when we look at our solar winds... It never breaks, never comes close to breaking, except for one or two minutes. Never breaks 575 kilometers per second. Temperature has remained right at normal the entire time of this geomagnetic disturbance and storm. Nothing about this makes even a little bit of sense, especially when you're looking at these satellites for years, as I have been. I thought maybe the Discover satellite was not functioning properly, so I did jump over to the ACE, the older space weather, real-time space weather satellite, and we're seeing the same exact thing. No solar winds over 600 kilometers per second. No plasma, even except for two minutes that went over even 10 centimeters cubed. And the shields look like they're functioning fine here. Temperature is exactly normal all the way through this. 
I have no idea what's going on. Again, I did look for something hitting the backside of Earth, thinking maybe the satellites weren't picking it up because it was coming from behind. But there is no pressure. There is no velocity. There's nothing coming from behind the planet either. This is something I've never seen before and I have no answers for. I had to cover it because it's been ongoing for two days and I'm sure people are being affected here. Shields up, no plasma, no solar winds, normal temperatures, and two days of a geomagnetic disturbance and geomagnetic storm. I am baffled, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to know what you think about this situation. If it was just one KP index, i.e. the estimated planetary KP index, which is pretty much our best bet, most reliable KP index, then that'd be one thing, but it's really all of the KP indexes showing generally the same thing. So we have something going on here that I am not familiar with. And, well, I would love to find out what is going on with the space weather hitting Earth. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.